The recent premiere of the next generation Toyota Tacoma showed us that the Japanese manufacturer doesn't plan to give over a single per mile of its market share. Instead, the plan is to wipe out the competition, even though the current model is already three times more popular than the next in the line. And as a part of that plan, the world's largest car maker increases the number of off-road oriented Tacomas from two to four. Is it now legal to say that the 2024 Toyota Tacoma is not just the best seller, but also the ultimate off-road beast? Stay with us as we are going to find out. The Tacoma has always been considered a quintessential pickup, strong in all fields. At the same time, it was considered mediocre due to the numerous drawbacks regarding the powertrain, chassis rigidity, subpar towing capacity, etc. Well, all this ends with the new model, which brings a completely new design eight years after the launch of the previous generation. The new model rides on a new platform, the same TNGAF architecture that underpins Tundra. For the first time, Tacoma will feature a fully boxed frame with much higher torsional rigidity. It will finally drop some rudimental technical solutions, such as drum brakes. It will get a completely new, way more potent powertrain lineup, including a hybrid powertrain. Finally, it will significantly increase its off-road potential because, starting in 2024, Tacoma will be available if four dedicated off-road versions. So, without further ado, let's take a look at each. One of the bigger novelties of this redesign is the new entry-level off-roader, a pretty familiar moniker. It was introduced back in 1998, but discontinued in 2015. Now it comes with the same formula, combining utility and off-road capabilities, while keeping the price pretty low. This is a simple and straightforward Tacoma, which comes only in the extra cab layout, which is what Toyota calls a two-door extended cab. The truck features a six-foot bed, and unlike the rest of Tacoma's off-road lineup, it still uses leaf springs instead of coil-sprung independent rear suspension. It is quite a utilitarian machine, with a max towing capacity of 6,500 pounds. Although an off-roader, it comes exclusively with a rear-wheel drive. But the off-road potential is still pretty high, because the list of upgrades includes a suspension lift, as well as a rear locker. 17-inch wheels with all-terrain tires are standard, while the powertrain department consists of a 2.4-liter turbo 4 and 8-speed automatic transmission, with a max output of 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. The TRD Off-Road is a well-familiar nameplate that was carried over from the previous generation. Once again, it will represent a sweet spot among off-road-oriented Tacomas, with a good portion of off-road upgrades, but way more affordable price than TRD Pro, for example. Compared to the outgoing generation, the new 2024 TRD Off-Road will bring important upgrades, starting from an updated suspension that now comes with the new generation of Bielstein monotube shocks, with increased piston diameter and remote reservoirs. Also new are 17 and 18-inch wheels, available with 33-inch tires. To remind you, the outgoing model has 16-inch wheels. Just like the previous model, the new 2024 TRD Off-Road comes standard with a rear locker and additional traction control modes. However, the new generation brings one important novelty, a disconnecting stabilizer bar at the front for better stability on super rough terrains. Just like the pre-runner, the TRD Off-Road will come standard with the new Turbo 4 and 8-speed automatic transmission but the story doesn't end there. Every off-roader in Tacoma's lineup will have an X-Factor, and in this case, that would be a manual transmission. We have no doubt that this will be a very attractive proposition for a good number of off-road enthusiasts. But it's also good to mention that this version will feature slightly less power and torque than models with an automatic gearbox. Instead of 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet, the numbers are 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. The outgoing TRD Pro is already a pretty impressive off-roader, but the new generation is about to elevate to a whole new level. First of all, there is the all-new hybrid powertrain, based on a 2.4-liter turbo-4 engine, which puts out 326 horsepower and a class-leading 465 pound-feet of torque. If that doesn't impress you, 
Just remember that the outgoing TRD Pro is powered by a 265 pound-feet V6 gas-only powertrain. We are talking about a monumental 200 pound-feet torque boost, and that's only the beginning. Improvements in terms of suspension setup are also massive, starting from the new Fox QS3 three-way adjustable internal bypass shocks. The new shocks feature remote reservoirs, and there are also new Fox internal floating pistons, rear bump stops, and red aluminum upper control arms. The new TRD Pro rides on 18-inch black wheels with 33-inch Goodyear Territory tires, while the max ground clearance went up to a respectable 11.1 inches. The approach angle went up to 33.8 degrees, while departure and breakover angles are now 25.7 and 23.5 degrees, respectively. The list of quintessential off-road features doesn't end here. A locking rear differential and a two-speed transfer case are also part of the standard system, along with various traction control modes. Typically for the TRD Pro trim, the truck features a full load of new exclusive exterior features, such as the new LED light bar integrated into the grille, or a new ARB rear bumper with red recovery hooks. On the inside, the new model continues with typical TRD Pro treatment with exclusive color schemes, materials, and accessories. But that's not all. The new TRD Pro also features the most amazing seats we've seen in the mid-size pickup universe. Toyota calls them isodynamic performance seats, and the catch is in the use of an air-over-oil shock absorber system that works in a similar way as seats you can find in heavy trucks. These seats provide vertical and lateral seat movement, which means that your head and neck are about to remain aligned with the spine no matter how hard you push the new Tacoma during off-road adventures. In other words, this prevents injuries, reduces fatigue, and improves overall comfort on hard terrains. Toyota makes some of the most reliable and durable pickups around. At the same time, models like Tacoma offer good off-road potential, which makes it a good basis for a proper overlander. The only problem is that you have to load it with numerous aftermarket parts to make it sustainable. Well, that won't be the case anymore, because the new Trail Hunter is exactly what you need to conquer the world. It is a product of cooperation between Toyota and ASR, an Australian company that's widely considered one of the industry leaders when it comes to off-road parts and accessories. So, in the new Trail Hunter, numerous ASR upgrades are actually part of the standard equipment. Hot stamped bumpers are one of them, just like rock rails, roof rails, bed roll bar, etc. Unique LED lighting elements, such as an LED bar integrated into the bronze grill, are just some of the many details that separate Trail Hunter from the rest of the Tacoma lineup. You can easily spot unique 18-inch bronze wheels, as well as several compass-like badges around the truck that represent Trail Hunter's new logo. It's on the tailgate, on the doors, and even on the front skid plates, as you would expect from a go-anywhere machine. The Tacoma Trail Hunter also comes with a built-in air compressor, a 2.4 kilowatt converter, numerous 12 volt and USB ports, etc. We almost forgot to mention that massive snorkel on the passenger side. Besides obvious visual differences, there is also the matter of mechanics and genuine off-road hardware. Although we said that TRD Pro and Trail Hunter are both range-topping off-roaders, they are meant for different kinds of off-roading. The TRD Pro is pretty much a classic desert runner, while the Trail Hunter of more of a rock crawler. That's why it replaces Fox shocks with Old Man Emu's 2.5-inch forged monotube shocks paired with external remote reservoirs. The Trail Hunter is for steadier off-roading, able to deal with trickier terrains. That's why it also features better underbody protection, which covers almost the entire bottom side of the pickup. Instead of aluminum, skid plates are also made from hot stamped steel. We have no doubt that the Trail Hunter will be used on many expeditions. It will be able to carry more equipment than TRD Pro because it will feature a longer six-foot bed despite the same cab size. The TRD Pro, on the other hand, will stick with the familiar double cab short bed configuration. Four off-road models are actually just half of Tacoma's range. The lineup will also include four road-oriented models, starting from base SR and SR5 models, these two models are classic pickups with a focus on utility. They are simple, straightforward, and also quite affordable. At the same time, they are flexible because you can choose between extra cab and double cab styles, as well as different bed lengths 
which is the level of flexibility most other midsize pickups don't offer anymore. The TRD Sport is another familiar trim level that, despite the TRD badge, isn't particularly capable off the road. Instead, it is rather an on-road performer, with a full load of TRD features and accessories. The thing we like about it most is that just like the TRD off-road, it can be coupled with a manual shifter. Finally, let's say a few words about the limited trim. Characterized by some fancy, pretty exclusive styling details, this is actually the only comfort-oriented Tacoma. It looks more elegant than other Tacomas and comes fully loaded with tech and convenience features. It will be available both with Turbo 4 and hybrid powertrain options. What do you think about Tacoma's new off-road lineup? Is this the kind of diversity Tacoma lovers were looking for? Is the Trail Hunter capable enough to compete with the household names like Jeep Gladiator Rubicon or maybe the upcoming ZR2 Bison? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.